Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing Ninjago Dragons Rising and the possible return of the Oni. Now with Dragons Rising in mind, Dragons Rising is very much a Dragons themed season, obviously enough. The first 10 episodes of Ninjago Dragons Rising pretty much showed that off a lot with the dragons being the primary focus. And I feel like that's gonna be a consistent thing throughout the entire duration of this series. However, with Ninjago fans, a lot of us recognize that dragons are only one half of the spectrum. The other half is, of course, occupied by the Oni, who we have not seen fully since Ninjago March of the Oni. You could argue that Ninjago Crystallized had some Oni action, with Oni Garmadon and Oni Lloyd being a pretty big focus of that season. And while that is true, the Oni themselves have not appeared since Season 10, and a lot of Ninjago fans feel like they should come back in Dragons Rising, as maybe some type of final boss for the dragons themselves. And honestly, I do kind of like that idea. Unfortunately, there's nothing right now that suggests that the Oni will be coming back in Dragons Rising, and while I think it would make a lot of sense personally, I'm not sure how possible it is. In fact, it's not even super clear what happened to them during their last appearance of Ninjago March of the Oni, when they were pretty much obliterated by the Tornado of Creation. Did they go back to the first realm where they just completely vaporized? What exactly happened to the Oni? If they went back to the realm of Oni and Dragons, then they totally could appear in Ninjago Dragons Rising since the merge has occurred, and technically the Oni would be a part of Ninjago now. But if the Tornado of Creation ended up destroying the Oni, like a lot of Ninjago fans suspect, well, they could still appear in Ninjago Dragons Rising because of the Departed Realm. That is, assuming that the Oni themselves even go to the Departed Realm after they perish. And that's also assuming that the inhabitants of the Departed Realm are now a part of Ninjago again following the merge. So there are a lot of ifs and maybes that need to be answered before the Oni can even return in Ninjago Dragons Rising, but I think it would make sense, right? Then again, the Imperium seem to be the driving force against the dragons this time, so I guess the Oni coming back isn't really necessary, but I would appreciate it as a longtime Ninjago fan. As much as I may enjoy Ninjago March of the Oni for what it was, I'm not really sure if the Oni's ending was the most satisfying thing out there, so bringing them back in Ninjago Dragons Rising, I'd say go for it. Like I said though, I'm not sure how possible or likely that actually is. So with that being said guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. Thank you so much for watching. Just wanted to make a quick video talking about the Oni and whether or not they could return in Ninjago Dragons Rising. I think it's certainly possible if a couple of key things are met. Feel free to leave all of your thoughts down below in the comments. Do you think the Oni should return in Ninjago Dragons Rising? Why or why not? And hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you guys enjoyed this one, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Peace.